Hey, what's up? It's Tackless, and today we are on part six of playing through Terminal Island. Um, Terminal, we're actually pretty far into it at this point. We're at the colony. I'm picking up all sorts of fun resources, and I'm working on trying to craft everything. And one of those things I'm trying to craft requires a bunch of iron, so that's the next thing I need to pick up. Let's get a couple of gas masks. Get a bunch of food. I can't pick any more food up. So once again, if you have any questions, comments, critique anything about the world that you'd like to see, or that you have questions about, you can either put it in the chat if you're watching it live, or you could leave a comment below if you're watching the recording. Come on, I notice it every so often. Sometimes it won't uh, finish harvesting. Let's see if we can find any good iron resources. Oh, hey, look, here's another coffin. Let's see who died at this one. Christian Smith, the excellent cook. Apparently everyone loved Christian Smith's cooking. So I'm going to take just a second to grab something to drink. I'm getting pretty thirsty after an hour of uh, live streaming. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Ah, there we go. That's better. Let's get back to it. Um, so we're still looking for more iron. Uh, looks like there's some wood there. Don't really need wood, but not gonna say no. There's more wood. I could say no that time. Let's see. I think I have some resources back in here. I've noticed that the blue light at night, considering the train and whatnot, it looks really strange, but I think I like how it looks, which is why I've always left it. Any resources back here? There's wood. I don't need wood. Oh, there we go. That may be something good. Let's see if by the end of this section, we can be at the final boss. I bet we can do that. Um, oh, more Creolesk, which frankly at this point I don't need, but I'm not going to say no to more Creolesk. I have 172 Creolesk. Jeez. Um, 56 iron, I'm getting back up there. But there's a few other things that I want to craft. Um... Oh, got some new downloads and new upvotes. Last I had checked, when I started recording this video, I had 1,400 downloads. So thank you everyone who's been interested and supported this and actually downloaded it. That's the best way you can support. It is by actually going and playing it. So thank you all for that. Um, yeah. Um. Sean says, have you nodes? Um, probably, possibly notice that there are many Minecraft songs and animations, but none for Project Spark. Um, I, I do see, I, I understand why. Um, partially because Project Spark isn't quite as much of a social game as Minecraft. And Minecraft is one of the most played games of all time. And Project Spark is not. Project Spark isn't even one of the most played Xbox games, let alone most played games of all time. Um, when I played Minecraft, and I did, I played a lot of Minecraft. I actually owned my own server for a while called Metal Rain. Um, when I played that, there was a very strong social element, which kind of makes friendships and reinforces how fun the game is. And the, So that's probably why there's so many animations and whatnot about it, is that people can just they really enjoy themselves while they play the game and it's just more of a social game than project spark that is probably a little bit more user friendly project spark isn't super user friendly uh, it, it is considering it's a game that can create all of this it's extremely user friendly but to the general public like if a 10 year old just picked up project spark probably wouldn't really know what to do with it so it's not quite as accessible that's one of the reasons i started making tutorials when i was playing this no one was making tutorials. 
like Mescad had like five tutorials and none of them were relevant to me. So I figured out how to play the game myself and started making tutorials. Which I'm hoping to get back into. I just set up my whole recording rig again to do this. Um, I've probably got enough resources by now to do what I want. Yeah, I've got over 100 iron. Once you get the axe that doubles your resources, resource harvesting goes really, really fast. But things also cost more, so it balances itself out. Let's pick up some more water. The only reliable place in the game where you can get water, other than crates. All right, so let's go ahead and craft this stuff in here. Let's see. Interact to collect. Hmm, it's not working. I, I hear what that guy says, how they're bugged out. I wonder if this one's bugged. Okay. More iron and creolisk. Awesome. Now something I will show, but I'm not actually going to do because it would be a huge waste of resources, is we can upgrade the semi-auto pistol here. Oh, and I've got a bit of a UI issue with my Y there. But um, you can upgrade the barrel, and you can upgrade the stock, and then you can purchase more bullets here. And this will actually change how the gun looks. But what we're going to do instead... Oh, that's interesting. It froze me in place. Not to worry, after 10 seconds it'll unfreeze me. But, oh, that was kind of a... Oh, that's, that's kind of terrifying. Huh, okay. There we go. See, I'm free. Now we're going to upgrade the combat ability so I don't react to light attacks. Also going to craft the heavy rifle, which is this beautiful thing. Increase combat ability again. And now let's upgrade my gun. Now let, let's take a minute to just look at how the gun handles. It shoots slow and it shoots in a really wide spread and it takes a while to reload. Now let's upgrade everything. A, X, Y, trigger, R, T. There we go. Now it's fully upgraded and the gun itself looks much cooler. Buy more bullets. And now let's watch how it shoots. It shoots faster in a more in a smaller area and it shoots lasers now. These lasers are awesome. All right, so I can't craft any more bullets because I'm almost out of iron. Well, 30 plus 50, yeah, I've got enough to make it work. Let's go do the final boss, huh? I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can do or craft or whatever. Um, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think we've done pretty much everything. So since we have the hydrophobic shark, which allows us to um, swim in the water without any trouble, also, we've got three of these fast travel spots opened up. We've only got one more to go. Uh, Nanoblade says, how long has he been streaming? According to my elapsed time, I've been one hour and 18 minutes. So, what we're going to be doing at this point is we're going to head over to the final boss. And we're going to kill him and finish the game out. Well, I guess we could just jump all the way across with the booster pack, but we're not going to. We're going to swim across like we should. This would normally kill you, but that's why we have the hydrophobic shark. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. Again, this will be broken out into section 7, I think. Yeah, I think I'm on six right now. Anyways, the next section is going to have um, the boss fight in it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. I'm not going to stop streaming. But, um, yep, and then I'm going to kill the boss and finish it on part seven. So I will.